2-2-2. And uh, good afternoon and welcome to uh, Batemans Bay, which is round number six of the 2017 Hobie Kayak Series. This series is presented by Daiwa. This year we have 12 rounds plus the Australian Championships, which will be held in Western Australia. This weekend, the round sponsor is JML Anglers, or Anglers Alliance. Um, they've been a long-time supporter of the series, and I know a good number of anglers use quite a bit of their gear this weekend, Eco Gear, Norris, and Yamatoyo, for, without question. We also have a good number of supporters who, uh, without these guys, make it a uh, possible run, and they are Lawrence, Berkeley, Pro Lure, Rhino Rack, Strike Pro, TT Lures, Hubby Polarized, and Mortgage Corp. Anglers this weekend are fishing for Angler of the Year points. They're also fishing for the Atomic Big Brim. And what we mean by that is the largest brim over today gets a $100 bonus uh, all the way through. We're also, uh, this weekend, we're on Facebook at Hobie Fishing uh, uh, website and also on Facebook, sorry. So there's two methods of streaming for different devices out there. I know we've got some people in the United States and also in Europe um, watch, watching along. This round we had a good turnout and the weather's been perfect. A high of about 21, 22 degrees today. Breeze is a little bit light on, but uh, it came out pretty good. Had 40 anglers uh, showed up today and it's a very good turnout. We've got quite a few divisions, women's, masters, grandmasters, and first time entries in addition to the open division. We've got anglers this weekend from the ACT, New South Wales, and Victoria. They're all fishing for brim this weekend, and all the anglers are chasing for four brim, and they must be 26 centimeters to the tip. The anglers have a live well in their kayaks. They catch the fish. They keep the fish in there. They bring them up to a bump tub, give the fish a bit more water. They go on stage. We weigh them, and then the cumulative heaviest bag wins um, all the way through. We do have a release area for all the guys that are first time here. There's some cones down there. There are the Say the Lowrance on that. That is the only place that you can release your fish. And we have Jeff Alfred, who's going to be our marshal down there, making sure the fish are released good. We've got Christine and Jim Berry in scoring. And we also have Matt uh, Petri on the camera. Just take the lens cover off next time. It'd be good. Just kidding. We'll go ahead and get Matt up first so he can do his camera duties and scoring. If you're all good, I'm ready. They're giving me the big thumbs up. Matt Petri is showing me scoring has said there's four fish there, made a journey from Victoria. Nice of fish. Yay. And I forgot the other mic, but I'll have to fix that after oh, you. Okay. Do you want to weigh one of these for Big Brim? Oh, why not? I just on the first one up. Okay, those four fish are going to be about 1.69. Hang on to that. I'll get the other bag. Here's the bag. Let's get the biggest fish out. Nice fish. What do you think it weighs? Six fifty. You're dreaming. Six sixty. <laughs> it's called having a set of scales on board. I think does it? No. Yeah. All right. Go let him swim away, and then grab your camera, and we'll go on here. I'll grab that other mic out, and we'll get things going. Jason Reed is up next. Come on up, Jason. Scoring is showing it two fish. How are you, Matty? Not too bad, thanks. A bit tough today? Yeah, very tough. A lot of cast. Late bite. A lot of bite? Yeah. Any flathead today? Uh, one or two. One or two. All right, let's see what these two fish are going to come in at. Point eight four. Put you in a second. Yeah, thank you. It's a good sign. Yes, thank you. I don't think you'll last for long. Nope. And next we have Kane Terry. Scoring is showing three fish. Again, we were chasing a bag limit of four fish today, so only one short. How are you, sir? Good. Not too bad for three. Well, could have been better. Could have been better, <laughs> but uh, not too bad. Let's see what this does. Get some of the water out. Beautiful waterway system today in great weather. 1.57. Good tides today. So Jim was very good on picking the incoming and outgoing tides. The breeze was a little bit light during the middle of the day. But uh, all in all, it turned out a fantastic day for the end of April. 
Mark Young from New South Wales. Four fish it's showing here. How are you, sir? Good, yourself? You got your bag? Yeah, just. Just? The, when the wind came in, you get the last few fish, maybe? I uh, got my last fish about half an hour from the end. Two early, then one middle of the day. Okay, you're chasing 1.70 kilos to take the lead. You've got that for sure, 1.90. Thank you very much. I just want to measure that one fish to get my eye in, if you don't mind. Yeah, she's 26.1. I'll just check. I'll be the judge of that. No, <laughs> all day. Twenty-six and a half. It's not even. It's twenty-six, and it's not point one. <laughs> just for the record. And next time, don't hide him at the bottom of the bag. I'm only kidding you. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. We make sure they're all legal. The state limit's 25. We're also above state limit. That way they always have legal fish in the live well. Glenn Allen has made the journey down. How are you, sir? Three fish? Yeah, not too bad. How far was the drive today? Uh, five hours, I think. Five, five hours? Not too bad. Like Very tough out there. Very tough. <laughs> For me, anyway. 1.23 kilos. Nice. Thank you very Thank much. You. Simon Morley is next. One fish, Simon. I'm shocked. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm good. I had a great day. Just those big buggers just don't want to come out. They didn't come out. Are you fishing racks today? Yeah, yeah. All day. All day. So I probably hooked 10 really good ones. One I had right next to the yak and the hooks pulled out. And uh, no one good. of those days. One of those days. But for April, this is pretty good. Oh, it fished unreal. That sounds good. There you go. Point six six. Not too bad. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Mitch King has made the journey across. Good to see Mitch again. It's been a while since we've seen him. Come over from Victoria. Fished seven or eight hours for one fish. Exciting I times. I did. I um, I didn't want to make Simon Morley look bad, you know. I felt a bit bad for him, so I thought I'll get one as well. And He was leading Angler of the Year points. Was. Past well, I'm tense. nowhere near it. Past tense. I had a great day yesterday. Oh, it was pretty good, though. There you go. Oh. 0.45. Better than nothing. Absolutely. You're on the stage. That means you get into, didn't get donuts. Donuts is when you have zero fish. Who we got next? Lee Keel. Next, she's fishing in the women's division. As I said before, we have quite a few different divisions. They are eligible for the Opens, but they also get prize packs for winning their division. How are you? This is going to put you, you in the lead in the women's division. <laughs> I think I'm the only woman here. <laughs> There we go. This one fish is going to come in at 0.36. Well done. Hope you enjoyed thank your you. weekend. Yeah, thank you. It's a beautiful day on the water. Just waiting for a few of them to come up. We'll go through who's in there. In fifth place from New South Wales is Jason Reed at 0.84. Uh, fourth place at 1.23 kilos is Glenn Allen, also from New South Wales. Third place, 1.57 kilos, Kane Terry. In second place is Matt Petrie from Victoria, 1.69. And in first place leading so far is 1.90 with Mr. Mark Young. Here come a few bags now. Got quite a few people lined up out of the 40 anglers. That shows you that uh, at least they, I've had the opportunity to catch fish. Big Brim is still with Matt Petrie at .66. Anytime you're ready. Arthur Amies is up next. Scoring is showing three fish. Leave as much water in the tank as you can. Thank you. Saw him fishing up the front most of the day. Did you stay there the rest of the day or did you head back in the racks at all? Now I uh, decided to follow the tide back up. Okay. Which turned out alright. I've got the bigger one there, so. Okay, three fish. Chasing 1.91. You're not going to get that. No, definitely but not. But it's not too bad a bag for three fish. 1.37. Was there anyone you wanted to weigh at all or no? Oh, no. Just check. Always ask. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Cheers. No worries. Jason Dean is next from Victoria. Long drive, one fish. But on stage, chasing points. Long drive for one fish, yeah. But points. Ah, uh, yes. Got to have those points at the end of the year because the winner of the year, an angle of the year, is going to be flown to the United States and fish with an Aussie guy 
named Carl Jorkelson fishing the FLW. 0.58. Well done, and uh, thank you for making the journey and supporting it. There are quite a few comps that run around Australia, and we're very pleased and honored to have these guys support us at all events. Tom McBride's next from the ACT. How are you, sir? Very good, thank you. You caught one from the last time I saw you. I need to improve. Well, you're on stage, and that's half the battle here. 0.67. Now, I guess you're going to weigh that in for Big Brim, aren't you? Of course. All right, well, that Good puts choice. him at the new leader of Big Brim. Do we need to reweigh that for Big Brim, Jim? Or you just click it across? All good? Thank you. Done. You're weighing Big Brim. That's a $100 brim right there. Tom McBride. That doesn't look like Tom McBride at all. Dave Hedge. He had me. He does that to me. Every now and then, he does that to me. All right. Big Brim is uh, 0.71. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, yeah, it might be. I'll just ask. Do you yeah. want to you, yeah, want, you want to weigh this in for Big Brim? Oh, good idea. Leading Big Brim. <laughs> there's a hundred dollar Brim there. We also heard Dave from the shoreline. He had a bit of a meltdown out there. Um, there was children crying and helicopters and tough day on the water, yelling and screaming. Lex, how are you? Very good. It was a really good fun day. Fun day? Yeah, but the results weren't there. No, the results weren't there. The Clyde lately has been fishing a little bit on the tough side. They ran the uh, Southern Brim Series here a few months ago, and they had the same kind of results. Point well, three zero. At least you're on the board. One. Those near zeros are murder. That's it. Donuts are not good at all. Kevin, come on up. Four fish. Woohoo! There we go. How are you, sir? Good, thanks. So good. We saw you up the front. Did you stay up the front most of the day? Yeah, I stayed up there all day. The uh, the yep. wharves and the rock wall. Yep. What were you yep. throwing today to catch these fish? What lure uh, were you using? Plastics. It didn't really matter what plastic I threw, as long as it was camo. Camo in plastics. Any particular favorite plastic you threw today at all? No, I tried everything. Okay. <laughs> you need 1.91 to take the lead. Not going to do it. Going to come in at 1.56. It's going to put you up into fourth place. Not too bad. Richard Summerton is next. He's made the journey across. F four fish. Richard's won quite a few of the comps in Australia. Let's have a look and see what it is. Goring showing four. How are you? Hey, not too bad. You need 1.91. You've got that. I'm pretty yeah, sure. I think so. Yeah. Get rid of about 100 grams worth of water. Let's see where we're going to end up on this one. 2.42. Well done. Do you want to weigh one of these boys? Uh, might as well. What's a big brim? Yep. Uh, big brim is at 0.82. I'll get this. This could be a $100 fish. What did you catch most of these fish on today for people who are watching from We had a mixture of uh, uh, crabs and olive. Crabs? And uh, plastics, just a gulp shrimp. Okay, you need 0.8283 to take and get up there. Nope. Nope, 0.75. Dave Hedge is still going to hang on to it. I'll take the mic, you take the fish. Thank you, sir. Well done. Almost two and a half kilos. And again, it's really good to see that we uh, let these fish back into the system and caught another day. Richard Benson is next. Four fish. This is good. The line is still quite a few people left in line, so it's not too bad of a day. Come on up. You need 2.43 kilos. Yeah, he hasn't got that. You said he doesn't have it. Little ones today. Little ones today. It's not a bad bag, though. What would you catch most of these fish on today? Just on Jack with Chubbies. Can't quite hear you. Say Jackal chubbies. Jackal sorry. chubby. What color in the chubbies? Ah, uh, the pink Isuji. And the chubbies are a little hard body. Yeah. What size hard body was it? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Just the shallow run one. Shallow one. Okay. There you go. Chasing 2.43. You're not going to get that. But let's see where it does it. 1.76 kilo puts you up into third place. Ah, well. Not too bad. Anyone else you want to wait for Big Brim? Sounds good. 
Just a small recap while we're waiting on here. We'll go through the top four. In fourth place from Victoria is Matt Petrie at 1.69 kilos. Third place, just weighed in, 1.76 kilos is Richard Benson from New South Wales. Second place at 1.90 is Mark Young from New South Wales. And a Victorian is leading at 2.42 kilos, Richard Summerton. Andrew Deeth is next for Fish. It was really good to see his name on the uh, entry list this morning. Made the journey down from Sydney. Always good to see you. Always know you like fishing here. This is a good yeah, bag. This is not a bad bag. Is this going to knock Richard off? I don't think so. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. You need 2.43 kilos. I don't think so. 2.43 kilos. 2.45. Hand of applause. New leader here. What would you catch all these fish on today? Most of them came on an old school, on a gladiator bingo. Gladiator bingo. Do you want to weigh with that I one do. for a big rim? Thank you. You grab that. Now, for those who don't know what a gladiator is, tell them what it is for some of these young kids. Um, it's just like a jackal, a, a miniature jackal chubby, so it's a little fat little lure that just wobbles. I don't know. Sounds good. All right, you need a point eight three or eight two to tie for big brim. Point nine one. Well done. There's a hundred dollars so you so far leading at point nine one. Perfect. That'll be the phone. Uh oh, that was Stu. That was your phone. <laughs> uh, he missed you. Corey Gallagher is next. Also made the journey from Victoria. He probably had a lot better session here than he did in South Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Only slightly. Nice bag like of fish. Yeah, it was a fun day. I've never fished rucks before, Steve, so... I a lot of the them. Victorian guys, you just don't have that kind of water weight. You need 2.46 kilos. No, I won't get there. Let's have a look. 2.26 kilo puts you up into third place. Not too bad. Anyone want to weigh it off? No, Steve. Done. There's your bag. Thank you very much. Made the journey. It's rewarded him with 2.26 kilos. Danny Jobson's next. New South Wales. Scoring is showing two fish. These kayaks are open. These uh, competitions are open to any brand of kayak. It doesn't matter what kayak you have. We want to see everyone here. That one is just 26. Here's some of the water. How are you? Very good, Steve. Good day in the water? Yes, yeah, hard. Hard day in the water. Still fun, though. Point eight eight. Well done. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, mate. No worries. <clears throat> Matt Jorgensen is next. One fish is better than no fish. What a crack of a day to go fishing. Beautiful. Beats mowing the lawn. Definitely. That's what I think too. too. We are so fortunate the weather we've had over Easter and this break coming into winter. This is just a good day. Nice fish for one fish. You need three more of his mates and you'd have been, would have been very good. good. That one fish is going to come in at 0.79. That would have put you third in the Atomic Big Brim Thank Challenge. You. Thank you very much. Michael Walker is next. Two fish. You need 2.46 kilos to take the lead. Yeah, I haven't got that, mate. All right. No one near it. He's okay. He's 27. Let's have a look at this bag. 0.84. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Andrew Deeth is still leading at 2.45 kilos. Richard Summerton at 2.42. And Corey Gallagher at 2.26. One New South Wales and two in uh, from Victoria all the way. Craig Coughlin is next. So, Craig, come on up.
This is your home waterway, so to speak. It is. Yes. Yes. So you really should be dominating. <laughs> I yes? haven't been doing very well here lately. So okay. I was glad to get my limit. Okay. You've got your four fish. We saw you in the racks earlier. Where did you migrate today? Stayed in racks most of the day. Stayed in racks. Tried the flats at the end of the day, and it didn't. Was didn't there enough, not enough wind on the flats? No. Okay. All right. You need two point four six. It's not going to make that. But let's see if that gets you into something. Not too bad. 2.06 kilos puts you into fourth place. Thank you. Well done. And the better half is over there helping us in scoring, so thank you very much for that. Carl Dubois, the Sydney Latte Brigade. Four fish. Four fish. Perfect. That's all right. How are you, sir? Not quite. Good, thanks, buddy. Very good. Had a good day. I had a very good day. All right. What would you catch these on? I uh, got one on the out of the racks this morning on a bingo shallow. Okay. Shallow, and the other one on the SL remixes. Sounds good. Out of the mangroves. Point, 1.76 kilos. 1. Thank 7, you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Always good to see Carl here. Carl Dubois was 1.76. Perfect. See two guys left in line. Scott Marskinkowski. If I didn't butcher that too bad. How are you, sir? Good to see you on stage. Yeah, good. You're consistently, you already seem to be on stage. Yeah, it feels you just the one. Uh, that's all right. One's better than none. Sounds good. Let's see what this one weighs in at today. 0.52. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Great to see you here again. A few more bags are coming up. Ben, Paul Davison is next. I don't know why I said Ben. It's Paul. He ordered a pizza today, so we brought him out a pizza and helped him out. He was hungry. Pepperoni, no anchovies. It was a good delivery, wasn't it? Yes, I've got to say a big thank you to Steve. My Mirage Drive broke and rang Steve up. He bought me out a pizza and my Mirage Drive. There you go. You and also got to thank uh, Steve Steer, too. Okay. I always wondered what the hype was with these cranker crabs. First fish I've ever caught on the cranker crab, there so you thank you, Steve. Big Brim is sitting at 0.91. Let's see if you can at least knock that off. You have a kegger. Awesome. On a cranker crab. Thank you, Steve. There you go. <laughs> that was a good plug. Who we got next, Jimbo? Tim Olson, ACT. Two fish. How are you, sir? Doing well. Good day in the water? Um, slow for me. I only had, yeah, the two brim bites and got an EP and that was about it. Most of the people we talked to on the word day was a, a flathead festival. A lot of oh, people got, got a couple, but yeah. Yep. All right, let's see what these two fish are going to get you here. 1.21, not too Thank bad. You. You, just, you just needed two more fish. Cheers. Thank you. Jack Gemmy, he's fishing the youth and has had a very, very good run in youth. We saw him early in the morning. He had his three fish pretty good and then spent a little bit more time later on to get that fourth fish. What time did you get your fourth one? Uh, probably about 11.30. 11.30. You, got, you need 2.46. You think you got it? I won't have that, but I'll have over two, hopefully. I'll have over two. I'd have to agree with that. Let's see if this is going to get you into the money. 2.32 kilos puts you up into third in the open, and it also puts you first in the youth division. Thank you. Thank you. Done very, very well in the youth. It's uh, 16 to 21 is that age group. Cameron Starr is next, New South Wales. Making the journey up. How are you, sir? Good to see you on stage. Thanks, Steve. How are you? Good, good. Long day for one. It is, isn't it? But what's worse? A long day for none. Zero, that's right. A long day for none is no fun going to come in at 0.45 kilos. Well done. Thank you. And thanks for supporting us. See a couple more anglers up there. Next is Mark Crompton. Mark fishes the, the power boat tournaments. He also does the kayaks. How are you, sir? Yeah, not too bad. Had a fun day today. I good. always love getting down the Clyde. Haven't been able to do it for a few years. so It's good to see you back enjoying it. And, uh, Got a nice bag. You gonna take two, four, six? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's have a look and see where he's gonna end up on the top of the leaderboard. 
2.49. There you go. Yes. Is that it? So that's going to take and put you up in the lead. Tell us what you caught these on or what lures to agree. Look. um, Slide forward a little bit to here. That way the camera can see you. It's no big secret. I love my cranker crabs. Yes. Um, Cranker crabs are a great supporter of me. And um, I love using the product. They make it very easy to uh, help promote (laughs) with, uh, you know, results like that. That Sounds good. It's just crabs all day long, basically? Yeah, basically. Started on the bridge. Um, Noticed everybody just took off straight past it. Uh, It was chained to the tide. Got most of my fish there. Then went up river and just picked off spots that I've known from years past. I didn't really Mm -hmm. pre-fish. Just, you're in a kayak. You've got to grind it out. You've got to be confident in your spots and just grind them out. Well, that's what I was going to say. The difference in the power boats versus the kayaks. The power boats, if you're in a bad spot, you hit the motor and you can go where you want. The kayaks, as you know... No, you're stuck. You're stuck. You've got about a... Really about a 16 or 17 kilometer radius that you kind of have to work in. And also, it's good on our organizers. we got to work out the tides right. So, oh, yeah, do you want to weigh one of these for Big Brim? No, no, no. It won't nope. do that. It won't do it? There you go. So, that puts you in the lead. Well done, Mark. Just pipped out uh, Andrew Deeds. Jonathan Chen is next from the ACT. And three fish. We saw Jonathan in the racks early on. How are you? I'm good, Steve. How are you? Good, good. Your family was here earlier, and they're here again. Yes. There you go. Hello. <laughs> you spent racks all day? Yeah, stayed in the racks all day. Um, got them nice and early, about 9 o'clock, and then tried to grind out for a couple and lost two. And yeah. I was Now, you've just gotten married recently. Yes. How long ago? Um, a week ago. And you've got the leaf pass to go fishing already? Uh, yes. Well, all right. Just <laughs> I'm a very lucky man. I want to just, that's all right. <laughs> Those three fish. Going to come in at 1.34. Not too bad. Thank you. How good is that? Seven days in, he's out fishing again. Can't beat that. Josh Clemens is next. Josh is always the guy pushing the limit on the key tags. But if you're out flicking lures and you're catching fish, that's all that matters. As long yeah, as you're that's back. right. Steve? Not bad. Where'd you fish? I just fished the racks with... Cranker crabs. Cranker crab. What color cranker crab today? Uh, olive. Olive. That's what Rich was saying. You need 2.50 to take the lead. What do you reckon? No. It's just going to get you into a paycheck. 2.32 kilos. Ooh, fourth place. Cheers, Steve. Well done. Did you want to wait from Big Rim at all? Okay. Is this the last bag, you think, Jimbo, or...? I think it is. Darren, how are you? Good, Steve. Good to see you, man. Thanks. Thanks for holding that fish up for us today. <laughs> it was far, this far distance we saw this guy, and he's waving at us, and he holds the fish up, so it was always good. Yeah, that I was think about 7.30. Bad omen, I think. It was very early on. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Anyway. Did you stay there, or did you move on quite a bit? No, I actually went way up river. And, um, Any good? It was good yesterday. No, nah, <laughs> not today. Nah, all right, nah, let's nah. see what these two fish are going to weigh in at. 1.05 kilos. That should be it. We're all going to calculate the stores, scores and um, we'll go from there. Thank you very much. We'll also get um, you guys ready? Two, two. Matt Petrie, if you want to make your way up, that would be good. Two. We've got uh, Simon Morley here representing Totally Immersed Water Sports. The uh, local dealer that's supporting this round. Chris couldn't be here. He's at the Rose Hill four wheel drive camping show. And um, if you want to take some photos of the prize winners, we're going to do the uh, 
the monster mover and then the big checks and things like that. I'll just do this one. Now, Mortgage Corp, they have a prize that is for someone who, in a two-day comp, improves the most from last to first, etc. On one-day comps, we just run it through a spreadsheet, and this one came out to uh, Andrew Maloney. Is Andrew here? Here he is. Fantastic gift from Mortgage Corp. Thank you much, Neil. How are you, mate? Good to see you. This is from uh, Neil at Mortgage Corp. How was your day on the water? Tiring. Tiring? <laughs> yeah. No fish. No fish? No. Now, you've been in hospital for a while? Um, no, not for a while, but yeah. Recovering from a kidney transplant and a few other issues. So. Fantastic. So you're yeah. back on the water again? Yeah. yeah it was fine. a great day for it. Perfect it conditions. So, yeah. you got a good, good ground crew. Yeah. Thank you very much. That sounds good. All right. We're going to do uh, Big Brim is next. That is going to be Paul Davison. The Atomic Big Brim. Yeah, that one in Big Brim. If you can just get there and get a photo with Simon and you guys. Okay, in the women's division, absolutely you smash that, beat everybody else, is Lee Keel. Come on up. Well done. Yes, division pack and a placket. Well done. <laughs> Go the girls. Hey, what's going on there? This is a family show. Come on. This is a family show. It's a Sunday afternoon. I saw that. And in the youth division, weighing in at 2.32 kilos, in the fifth overall in the open, is Jack Gammy. So come on up, Jack. He's becoming a regular on the stage here, doing good in the youth, and uh, he kicks some, um, some tail in the open division, like I said, coming in at fifth place in the open. Don't kiss him. <laughs> Thank you very much. Perfect. Okay, in the Masters division, uh, in first place is Lex Court. Lex? Yes. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Now what are you doing to me? Okay, we're going to go into 10th. Uh, and then these are the top three there. Yep. And then from that place is prize money. Okay, prize packs from 10th place uh, from New South Wales. Four fish for 1.76 kilos, Richard Benson. Well done, Richard. In ninth place from New South Wales, uh, four fish for also 1.76 kilos is Carl Dubois. In eighth place from New South Wales, four fish for 1.90 kilos is Mark Young. Picking up a handful of points on this one. This is good. In seventh place, Craig Coughlin, four fish for 2.06 kilos. Well done, Craig. He's got the fan club over there clapping for you. I love you guys. I remember that. <laughs> Welcome, China. There you go. In sixth place, from Victoria, made it across the Donald Trump border, is Corey Gallagher. Well done. Sixth place, 2.26 kilos. And picked up those all-important Angler of the Year points. That's it. Okay, we're going into the money side of things. And in fifth place... Won the youth division, 
Come up uh, fifth place here, Jack Gammy, 2.32 kilos, $110. Jack, come grab some more Spondulli office. You going to share that with Dad? No. And he said no. <laughs> In fourth place, four fish for 2.32 kilos, Josh Kilmus, taking him $140. Well done. And a fistful of points. Third place from Victoria, 2.42 kilos, uh, $210, Richard Summerton. There you go. Third place from New South Wales, Andrew Deeth, 2.45 kilos, taking on $350. Old school lures. There you go. Were you a late entry? Did you? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You always scare me when you don't leave that. So, Radio in first place from New South Wales, four fish for 2.49 kilos, taping home $590, Mark Crompton. We need to see uh, the top three guys after the event. That'll be Richard, Andrew, and Mark. We'll just get a group photo with you guys, and then I'll talk to the top two. Your missus rang, and we've transferred the money into her account. <laughs> Don't go away. Now come back and expand a little bit more. We got a little bit more time now. We can put some of these goodies away. Tell us about your day from start to finish, as short as you can. Of where you started fishing, where you moved around to. So started like I said, started on the. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so started on the bridge, uh, just on the pylons this morning. The um, the tide was slack and um, I saw on the side image a lot of the fish were hanging uh, on the, the downstream side and they were just bunched up. So I was sort of casting in between the two pylons and bringing it diagonally through between the pylons and uh, they were just picking it off there. But I didn't get many through there, I only got three or four. Um, but uh, well, I got three there, but you know, they, I got done by a couple, but they, there wasn't a huge amount. Followed myself down to the um, the reefs uh, further down near the power lines there's a couple of um, racks that I like that are along down through there and there was nothing in there for me so went down to the reef and um, played around there for most of the day I probably caught about 15 fish mm -hmm. and uh, slowly upgraded you know and, and uh, yeah it wasn't too bad it was pretty deep there mm -hmm. and just the heavy crabs and yeah it's uh, 32 to 35 feet in some of those areas that's right it's yeah very, seven very to nine deep meters deep. Yeah. um yeah. so yeah but just rolling them slow bumping them across the the tops of the rocks mm -hmm. and just waiting for that clunk and um just giving him absolutely nothing i fished 10 pound mm -hmm. pretty much all day and as soon as i hooked on i fished the big crabs too which helps if you hook on with those you can just just bring, bring them, them straight up. up they come up and they yeah they don't know what's in them so. sounds good all righty that's it we'll uh, get the top three here for a photo and then i'll see uh, the top two guys right now. anyway we'd like to thank i'd like to thank all the competitors who have made the journey from victoria all parts of new south wales and i was always from vic it was a great weekend many thanks to christine and jim for making it run smoothly again and all the competitors more importantly for showing up and making these events good and jml Fantastic round sponsor, and we really appreciate your support. So we'll see you next time at round number seven.